A Catholic school in Macon uses a new method to develop their students more creative talent. Our education reporter Pepper Baker tells you how with our School of the Week. St. Joseph's Catholic School wants all of their students to be successful, whether that be in math and science or woodwork and fishing, which is why their Enrichment Clusters program makes them our School of the Week. Into your plank, come all the way down. This group of fifth and sixth graders chose to have a more relaxing Thursday morning with their yoga enrichment cluster. Take a deep breath, exhale. Taft Daniel and his classmate Phoenix James chose to work on their acting skills. Every Thursday morning we just go into our cluster room, which mine is acting as you can see, and we just do whatever you're in. So if you're in acting, you act out of play. If you're in photography, you take pictures. And you're categorized into something that everyone likes. Everyone likes something related to the same thing. Teachers Heather Knowles and Connie Wiselike learned about enrichment clusters at a conference in Connecticut. This was a way not only to meet the needs of your um, academically talented and gifted students, but the gifts and talents of all students. Fifth and sixth grade students pick their favorite out of seven activities and they get to do them every Thursday morning for about an hour. We have a yoga cluster, we have a, a guitar cluster, an acting cluster, we have photography, we have woodworking, we have one called All About You, and we also have a fishing cluster. Uh, everybody looks forward to Thursday, especially because everybody wants to be here. It's really fun. I think it's a, an amazing opportunity that we even get to do this because this is our first year doing this. So it's always just really, it's amazing. Noel says they're opening the program to fourth graders next year. In Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. I think we need enrichment clusters at the station so I can just do yoga in between my, my shows. All right, well, Noel says they are working on having their acting students even perform at the Ronald McDonald House at the end of May. That is such an awesome program.